guy. Gonna have to step up and say, hey, man, give me the basketball. Get tough, get fouled, and knock down these free throws. Close this game out. And he misses the second. And now the Pistons got to continue to play the foul game here, not try to turn the Rockets over. No. The Rockets called a timeout. We'll step aside as well. The Rockets use one of their last two timeouts. just took a second timeout so and they're last so I think I think the Rockets took one and then just took another because now the the clock it looked like the clock reset a little bit the timeout clock and then the Rockets now have no timeouts left on their ledger which means you have to throw this ball in bounds so they will advance it. Shingun will be the inbound. His team, the Rockets, up by six. Now both teams out of timeouts. Looks like James is going to be the runner here. He's going to have to come and meet this pass. Got to get this thing inbounded. Watch Jabari crack it we, back. We've seen these. Kind, we've, we've seen this situation flubbed up before. They come into the back. Oh, oh, oh. Jalen Green with a catch. Gets by Ivy. Is able to shake loose for the moment there from Livers, who finally gets him a 9.1 to go. Yeah, that's why I said that. that was designed for his speed, but too close for comfort there. I think it was in that Boston game where the Rockets couldn't inbound the ball on that same side. Remember, and I think Shingun was the inbounder there. That one was dangerously close to getting either A, deflected, or B, stolen. But Green goes to the line here, 9.1 to go, and makes the first. There you go. So a 30, how about a 30-point game for Green, a 30-point game for Kevin Porter Jr. The Rockets, this will be their 40. Fifth free throw attempt, which would be a season high. Uh, all started in the pregame show. Spotlight. Green and KPJ. Rockets are going to get this win and end their losing streak. If Joseph scores, 